24 hours for Bry Loist. He just returned from Campbellton, New Brunswick, and he's not alone. He's brought back 23 animals. All were confiscated from the Reptile Ocean building. Crocodiles, lizards, snakes, all different types of reptiles. The exotic creatures were found on all three stories of the building, including the top floor, where four-year-old Noah and older brother Connor were sleeping. The Barth brothers were killed by an African rock python when it escaped from its glass tank and fell through the ceiling. The boys died from asphyxiation. Many of the animals found in the pet store are illegal in New Brunswick. Lois helped remove them and brought them back to Peterborough. The confiscated animals are currently in quarantine. A number of tests need to be done to ensure they are safe and free from disease before they can be added to the zoo. That process can take anywhere from three to six months. Most of the animals will call the zoo their home. The rest will be sent to other accredited facilities. Accredited zoos don't normally have, you know, 50 cages empty waiting for animals just to be given to them. Zoos specifically design cages for certain species with a collection plan in mind. All the zoos that are helping out, it's greatly appreciated. Loy says the nonprofit organization will use this time to raise money to help create safe and proper enclosures for the creatures. We need all the funds we can get to help these animals so no more have to be euthanized. And now that the animals have a new home, the community of Campbellton can slowly start to pick up the pieces and try to move on from this devastating tragedy. Nikki Judy, Checks News Watch, Peterborough.